I'll be showing you how to configure my Protic 9 foot 1 half light. This one. Uh, this is a four port uh, router and uh, we are going to configure it manually. We are not going to use quick set. So I have already reset this router and uh, I'll connect it to the computer and from there we can do the configuration. So as you can see um, port number two is blinking. I'll open Winbox on my computer. That is a Microtik app which you can use to access your Microtik. Right now the Microtik does not have IP. So we'll connect to the Microtik using um, the MAC address. It will just detect the Microtik router. So I'm inside the router and we'll start with uh, uh, the internet configuration so that our Microtik can access internet. Uh, with that I'll, I'll um, okay. So in Microtik, you will come to IP, the IP, I, IP tab. I can call it that. Then you click on uh, DHCP client. From the DHCP client, just click on Add. There is a plus sign. We are going to use Ethernet 1 as our um, out interface. This is the interface that uh, will connect our internet provider um, Ethernet cable to. So I select, I click on DHCP. Then on that tab, there is an option for interface. So I'll choose Ethernet 1 because we are going to use DHCP to, to receive internet to this microtic. We are not using uh, PPPoE. So after selecting that interface, just click on apply. Okay. So I have Ethernet one. Then you go to IP. Then I'll choose addresses. And addresses, I'll enter the IP address that I want to use for DHCP. So that's 192.168 dot uh, 55 dot uh, 1 slash 24 mm. click apply okay then you go to poll you need to create a poll under the poll and give it poll name uh, you can just leave it poll 1 the IP address is 192.168.55.22 This is the range 192.168.55.254 Click apply, ok So that is our LAN IP And before you create this LAN IP, you also need to have uh, the interface on which um, the DHCP server will be running. So we need to go to bridge. Under bridge, you create a bridge. So you <coughs> click on the plus sign. You can give your bridge a name. So we we'll leave it bridge on and click apply and OK. Then we need to add the ports that we have. We want to run on the bridge. So we'll add port number two. Right now I'm connected to port number two. So let's start with three. Port number three. I'll add it to bridge one. Then add another port. Port number four. Four. I'll add it to bridge one. I'll also add um, the Wi-Fi, the wireless interface to bridge one. Once I'm done with that, then we'll go back to our addresses, then select the interface we want the DHCP server to run. Choose that, click OK. I'll enable the wireless interface and set it to 
AP bridge mode apply enable it um, can give it a name and just call it tech this is id name so let me call it tech uh, for the password for now i don't need to give it or assign it a password because we are going to create a hotspot um i can now connect my ethernet port with the internet uh, providers uh, what you know port number one is my one port so i need to configure one thing the dns so the dns i'll use google dns that's 8.8.8 .8 .8. And click OK. So, what I'll do is to ping. I want to ping Google. Check whether my router has access to the internet. I'll ping 8.8.8.8. That's the Google DNS. So, right now, my microtech can connect to the internet. So, we need to create another pool. Ready to create a pool for our LAN interface where we'll get our IP. Those are the IPs that will be uh, assigned to our clients. So we need to we need to uh, route our traffic, the LAN traffic to Ethernet 1. So you will go to IP tab then click on firewall. Under firewall you will click on the NAT tab then we add our source address. So our source address is the LAN, the, the LAN IP, the one, the pool that we created for the LAN, which is 192.168.55. We'll start from one. We can have it at zero slash twenty-four. That's class C. Slash twenty-four. That's our source address. Then the out interface is our Ethernet one. So you want our traffic to be routed to Ethernet one. So that you can access internet. So change that to F1. Click apply. Okay. So my router should be able to issue IP addresses. So you can reboot the router. Need to reboot our router. System reboot. Need to reboot, yes. So what we have so far done is to configure our F1 as our one interface. Then we created a pool for the LAN, and then we had to route the traffic from the LAN interface to F1. So there's one thing we need to do under IP firewall settings. We you click on the NAT repeat this as a reboot when you select your out interface you need to change it to masquerade so you don't want to leave it as accept connect let's wait for the connection refresh so the IP connect uh, under NAT, we need to change action under action to masquerade. Apply OK. Then under IP, we have the DHCP server. We need the server to run on uh, bridge one. So we change that to bridge one. And the pool, the address pool, we select the pool we created, which is pool one. From there now the DCP server will be able to assign IP addresses to our clients. Under networks you can have the IP which is 192.168.55.0/24 can have the gateway 192.168.55 dot one 
and canal these as 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot 0 that is our net mask apply so we should now receive an IP address it will disconnect my internet to connect to F3 because we assigned F3 F2 we did not assign it to the bridge one because we are using that internet port as you can see now uh, GCP the GCP server is issued us with an IP address so with our port number two we'll now change it to the bridge add it to the bridge one so that it is included under the DHCP server so you can receive an IP on port number two so that is it with the uh, manual configuration for DHCP so what we are left with is the configuration of uh, all spots thank you for watching the tutorial subscribe leave a comment or message hit the thumbs up button and see you in the next tutorial.